What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Day of Survival, here on my free-to-play account, as you can tell. And you can see a couple of things in my inventory, which are an AK and a VSS, as well as a bunch of hatches. Which, of course, means I'm heading out on a raid. However, this isn't a normal raid. The devs have added something new into the game. Abandoned houses. Get access to a location where you can find the most valuable items. And most importantly... It's free. So here we are. This will give us four iron hatchets and a note with abandoned house coordinates. So we take this. Ta-da! Please check your inbox. We're going to take the note from Raiders. They say the farm owner spent his last days here. So this is the person that went missing at the farm that we read about ages ago. He was setting up experiments on infected bulls trying to fight their mutations and aggressive behaviour. Seems that fowls were a more reasonable choice. <laughs> You have only one try. The coordinates are up to date only for 24 hours. As soon as you enter the location, you won't have any time limits. And the houses are abandoned, so there will be zombies. And if you die, you lose all your looted stuff. What I think that means is that we should probably get SWAT armor, just in case. I have absolutely no idea what is going to happen here. I just woke up to an announcement on Discord and nobody knew it was coming. Which is a little bit annoying for content creator people not to not to know that a rather large update's coming. But let's head out. Now, as you can see, I still haven't actually gotten around to building the garage on my free to play account yet. That's because... Let me zoom out. I haven't got anywhere to put it. I mean, I could put it in this corner here. Because it will take up 3x4 space. But, that then makes it a lot easier for people to break into this section. And I think this is where I'm most likely going to put it, because I'll have to delete the least walls here. I'll have to delete five stone walls to place it there. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is upgrading this bit to fully stone this little corner, just to make that a little bit safer, and then move the loot out of here into one of these other rooms. But it's going well. I'm pretty happy with my base progress. Right then, let's go and check out this new location, the weird raid. So there's no time limit. Is there still going to be a noise meter? I don't think there is going to be a noise meter. You have found the place the note from the raid raiders speaks about. Oh nice, it's a little broken one. Abandoned house, let's go. So, going by what it said about there not being a time limit, I'm thinking there isn't going to be a noise meter. You've only one try, blah blah blah, die losing your stuff. Okay, that's exactly what we read before. Let's go in. Yeah, I'm just interested to see if, if we have still got a noise meter. Okay. No noise meter. Ooh. That's not actually some bad stuff. You know what? I'm going to take all of that for now. I can always switch out if I don't find it helpful. And of course this is the farm, so we've got the bull and a few farm bits here. I'm wondering if we're going to find any um, glue. Because glue is a pretty common thing to get at the farm. As well as, ooh, puppies! I wonder if we can find puppies here. There we go, we got glue. So it looks like it is just farm chest loot here. Hey, painted boxes always the best. No, don't open the woodworking bench. Right, so it doesn't look like it summons in... Oh, well, guess we're opening that anyway. We've got ten pine planks. There's worse things in the world you can grab. Yeah, it doesn't look... Ooh, I'll take a katana. I like that as well. Hmm... Nah, I think we can break it through here. Ah, the um, farmer for some reason went to the bunker and killed the blind one. I'm not going to ask why. Oh, okay. This is where there might be good stuff. Military box. Oh, that's a free C4. That is, that is nice. And we've got a trunk here as well in his bedroom. What are we going to get in the trunk? Why is there a puppy in a box in a trunk? That's mean. That is really mean, whoever put that in there, you evil farmer. 
He stuck a puppy in a box, then just left it in another box. Oh dear. Right, let's drop off this stuff. So, we're not going to need these C4. Puppy, you can stay here safe. Now, obviously, as I haven't upgraded the chopper yet, I haven't got the extra storage slots. Which sucks, but, oh well, not the end of the world. Hey, go away. Right, now, is there anything else here? Or is that the entirety of it? And I saw it had a time up for five days. Does that mean that we might get this event every five days, possibly? Hmm. Grow them. Let's see what they're growing. See if there's any seeds or carrots in here for us. Eh, a couple of carrots. Now, anything else? Or is this the entirety of it? I think this might be everything. No fair, this person doesn't have to have a big ugly truck on his base. Uh, okay, so I massively overestimated and thought this event would be a lot harder than it is. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else left to loot. Have a look at here again. I'll take a chest. Take that, take that. I didn't realise this, but they changed the watches so they can actually give copper when you recycle them. Nice useful little tip there for everyone. So what you're going to want to do is level up electronics in your recycler using flashlights and um, light bulbs. Yeah, flashlights and light bulbs to level it up. And then when you get to about level 30, start recycling batteries and phones. And then when you get to level 50, start recycling watches and cameras. I'm terrible at driving. I actually plan on taking driving lessons in the new year. Wee! Hold it. No, don't hit it. There we go. Press the wrong button. And let's head off. Right then. Okay, that was a lot shorter event than I was expecting. I thought there would be a bit more there. Right, let's take a look. Is it... Get access to a location where you can find the most valuable items. So it's on a cooldown for 24 hours. Does that mean it's going to pop up again in 24 hours? I'm going to say yes it is. And because it had a 5 day cooldown, I think that means we're going to be getting to do 5 base raids. Like that, in the next 24 hours. Leave here and be able to come back for you. I sure you want to exit the location. Why do other places not have this? Why? Why do normal raids not have this message? That needs to be there. <sighs> right, let me, um... Ooh, hang on. Right, let's loot this airdrop quickly. See what we can get from here. Hoping for... Uh, Sawblade Mace would be nice, because I, I've i kind of run out of them, and I could do with clearing out the bunker. Ooh, I am using my silence weapon. You know what, let's, um... Switch out and batter them with a hatchet. No, don't kill the deer. Oh, you monster. Ooh, my phone just beeped at me. What was that? That was... Let's see if I can one-hand my phone. Uh, that was just a generic email from the university. That's pointless. Oh, well. Right. What are we getting? Engine part? Yay! Got an engine part. Right, and a bit of petrol as well. And a machete. This is a nice box. Right, let's do that. Let's do that. And I'll take the bricks in the space of that. Um... Leave behind the seeds. Actually, no. Leave behind the carrots, because that's only 12 carrots, but those 10 seeds can make me 20 carrots. Ah, playing it smart here. Although, to be fair, if I just went and dropped off... If I just went and dropped off the petrol in the chopper anyway, I wouldn't have had to leave behind anything. But, oh well. Right. There we go. Let's head out again. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do next. Hmm. You know what? I think I should actually build the garage. Got everything I need for it sitting around my base somewhere. Let's get it done. Let's demolish our lovely, beautiful... Why is there four events on the map? Ah, uh, well, I'm not going to be able to... I uh, can get to that, actually. Let's do it. Woo! We're getting there. Just. Right. So we've got the oak clearing. We've got the dealer. Got an airdrop. And the Christmas event. 
Wait, but there's a fourth one. Oh yeah, the rest stop, of course. Damn moment. Alright, so I'm going to want to switch back over to the AK. I've got more AKs than VSS. Oh, it's you again, Survivor. Hello there, Survivor. How are you today? If anybody got that reference, I love you. Just because I know so few of you will get that reference. It's to an old video of mine. Oh, and now they don't like me. Yeah, it's reference to a video I made years ago. Leave me alone with your Glock. I can just run around until I stop missing. There we go. Right. Ah, because it just came from the road, we're going to be pretty limited on space. So we're really only going to be able to take the creme de la creme, the real good stuff. Hmm, what do I want? I'd like a snorkel. I think I've gotten one snorkel on this account so far. Another one wouldn't go amiss. Um, let's do that. There we go. That's made up for the one or two that we just used fighting them. Maybe even three. Hey, and there we go. Another Glock. Right, that could be left behind. And I'm going to offload this into my chopper. And I'll take the red ticket. I think I've been just storing up red tickets en masse. I haven't, I've haven't. i been going to the bunker, clearing out the melee, and um, yeah, just guns, and leaving with the red ticket crate closed. And I'm hoping that they're going to do something to rebalance the loot. Maybe increase the C4 drop rate or whatever in there. So I've stored up about 100 red tickets, approximately. Uh, that's a half decent M16. You know what? This is this is a decent way to get aluminium. I should come here every time it shows up on the map. Which, to be fair, I think is what most people do anyway. Nah, my spot's better. Right, I'm. I'll come back over at the garage, over at my base. Welcome back, people. There we go. Everything for the garage. Got that crafted. Now we just need to go through the painful process of destroying everything I'd built already. Right, now these are going to need to move as well. Let's just do that. Now, how much space are we going to need? Three by four. Oh, so we can actually put it right up here and add in an extra bit of honeycomb around there to make up for it. I'm going to do that. Yeah. So it's four, so we're going to need to destroy it from here. Uh, why do they have to make things so big this late in the game? Oh, that wasn't what I meant to do. I wanted the floor there. What? There we go. Not sure what has happened in there. And there. Uh, that that was a little bit painful, but now look, my base is weak. People can see in. That's the problem with this. Now they've added this in, even though it's flush against the walls, people can see through it. Which means that they know my entire base is like this. So to fix that, what I'm going to have to do is actually have some wood in my inventory. Do I do I have raw wood anywhere? Yeah, of course I do. What am I going on about? Right. So what I'm going to want to do is go over here. Let's turn the roof off again. Like that. And like that. So then we will build walls, flush against it. And let's make that a door. Let's make uh, that one a door. Let's have these as walls. And that one as a wall. Right, perfect. Have I got the stuff to upgrade? Yes, I do. And the last one? No, damn. Oh well. Right, furniture, spikes, move to there. And these ones to there. Excellent. Right, let's test this again then. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. And turn the roof on. Perfect. There we go, it works. Right, let's go and have a look at our new garage. Not sure what I'm going to actually be able to do there. Let us know how to find out. Because 
Now, I actually don't know what patterns it's going to register me as having. So this could be interesting. Right. Oh, we've already got the off-road bike. I forgot. I've been. I have been going to the gas station. I just didn't have the garage open. And it's halfway to upgrading again. That's nice. And we're halfway towards the military motorcycle as well. Right. Awesome. We've just upgraded our bike. Um, doesn't really need repairing. Put a few points into repairing it, I guess. There we go. Just repaired what little problems we have with it. Ah, here we go. This is where we repaint. So we've got the leopard pattern at the moment, which hopefully is going to get redone. It looks nice, but they could do a little bit more with the body of it. So I guess this is the chopper gas tank now. Looks a little bit different to before, but okay. Fire, skulls, kitty, Halloween, Christmas. Nah, so we have a, all those blueprints we've actually got lying around our base are completely useless. I swear there was something here you could interact with. Hmm. Oh, and there's, of course, bucket to wash your bike. Right, I'm going to end off video there. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Remember to join Discord to enter the giveaway. Goodbye.